Hi, I'm Burton Richardson. This is Jose Fernandez from Switzerland, and we're going to take a look at the details of finishing the north-south choke. Now, the problem is, you know, you think about it, the, the idea of the north-south choke, if he goes here, of being here and grabbing the head and squeezing really hard until the person taps or goes unconscious, I'm sure a lot of people had that idea for years, but it's only been in the last maybe six or eight years that this has been a very effective choke. And the reason is there are so many details. First of all, first thing is the placement. Uh, it's like throwing a good punch or kick. Accuracy is very, very important. Same thing with your choke. The accuracy is highly important. If you're not in the right spot, you're not going to finish the choke. So our goal is to take that carotid artery, artery on this side and collapse it while we take the carotid artery on the opposite side and collapse that as well. That's the goal. So how are we going to do this? First of all, his number one counter here is to turn his head toward me. When he does that and I get in here, I don't have either carotid. It's not going to work. So first order of business, as we're putting in the arm, we just have to make sure that we keep his, his face pointing up. That way my rib is going to be on this side and that's what a lot of people miss is I'm cutting off this side with my ribs it's not all arm so if I don't get in there well and he turns his head toward me not gonna happen so you can you just have to abandon it go someplace else then maybe come back to it after you fake him out so as I'm getting into position here I'm gonna make sure I keep that up by putting my hip on the ground if I'm on this side my left hip on the ground so now you can see that actually my ribs are against the right side of his neck and his head is pointing up, he's face up. Okay, but as I get into the position, my left arm is gonna sneak in here. Now here's the trick. You have to have that arm all the way in. If, you, if this is his neck and you go in and you have that little bit of space, I mean half an inch of space there, you're probably not gonna finish. Because what happens is you end up pushing up here on the trachea a little bit, on the side a little bit, but not on the carotid because your bicep is going to be what's cutting off that carotid. So for me to do that, I have to make sure, if I rotate just a bit, okay, I think here, I have to make sure that arm goes all the way in. See that? It's going all the way in. Now, this not going to finish, this will finish. Not finish, finish. So you have to get it all the way in. Now, since I'm trying to get that bicep in here on the carotid, I want to put it in very relaxed. Two reasons. One, he won't feel so threatened. If I go relaxed in there, he's not going to feel threatened. If I'm going and forcing it in, he's going to know that the choke is coming. So I want to be sneaky about it and let that thing snake in there very gently. And by being relaxed, that bicep is going to contour to his carotid artery. So if this is the carotid artery, it's going to go in, it's going to be relaxed and be right flush up against that carotid so then when I tense, it's gonna cut it off. Okay, so when I go in here, I'm gonna go very deep, 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 and I'm gonna do it from the other side so you can see the grip and all also. I'm gonna go very deep as I drop my, my hips down to the ground. Jose can tell you right now that it's very tight. Okay, <laughs> now to finish Number one thing people do incorrectly here is once they get it is now they do it just like a guillotine. They come up and now I'm putting pressure and watch. I'm putting a lot of pressure and he's thinking about tapping but he's not tapping. I put a lot of pressure there coming up. But what's happening here? If I do the pressure like a guillotine coming up, I'm putting the pressure on the back of his neck. I, don't, I want to collapse the carotid artery. So the concept is anytime you do a choke from the top, whether it's north-south or a head and arm, an arm triangle choke, you want to drop your weight down. And notice when I do this, if you look at this, not just straight down here, but I'm going to actually shift my chest off to the side so that my shoulder moves over and then my bicep's going to totally cut in here. You see that? His carotid's in here and now it's cutting down. If I pull up, there's, it's just not just, it's not the same sort of pressure. So I come here and I get all the way in. I get in, and then when I'm going to do the choke, I'm going to move to the side here. I'm going to pass his arm also because if I don't, his number one, his number two counter is to push up my head. Now I can't do the choke. So I'm going to get my head past his arm and finish the choke right there. 
Let me do it from the other side so you can see. So you know how to get the arm all the way through. Now watch the hands. As I'm doing this, however I get into the position, I drop in, I come in here. Notice I'm low. I'm not pulling up, I'm dropping down. To avoid this, I'm gonna pass my head to the ground. Then I'm gonna either grab fingertip to fingertip and pull it through a little more. Some, this, I like this grip a lot because sometimes when you don't quite have it all the way in there, you tried to sneak the arm all the way in, but it's not quite there. This, going fingertip to fingertip, will actually pull it all the way through. Now it's tight. And then when I'm gonna finish, I'm actually gonna to rotate toward him also to make it, sorry, make it extremely, extremely tight. Okay, so we're going all the way through, making sure he's facing up. Arm is right up against the carotid. Get my head past his arm. I'm gonna rotate and I'm gonna drop everything down to the ground. I can also grab this grip here. This will work as well. This, the nice thing about this grip is that your arm's a little higher off the ground, which means his neck's higher off the ground, which means your cut is a little stronger. But I like this because you can pull and then you can switch to, back to a guillotine type grip if you like. But don't pull up, go down. So last time, I'm gonna go here. From here, I'm dropping all the way through and coming back and I'm trying to get my head down as soon as I can. Might pull this through to get a little more. If I wanna reach back to a guillotine grip, I can. I can finish it right here by dropping everything. I'm dropping my shoulder to the ground. You can practice just by doing this and dropping down, not pulling up. And then to make it even tighter, I'm gonna rotate and then there you go. Because as you rotate, you get this sort of kink in there. So the carotid artery actually gets kinked as well. And then you crush it down, no more blood to the brain. So those are the important finishing details to the north-south choke. Then it's all about setting it up and getting to that position. But then once you're there, if you have all those details in place, you're gonna finish just about everybody.